Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into a question many of you might have when you're out shopping. Should you pay cash or use installments? Let's break it down. First off, let's talk about paying cash. Cash is king, right? When you pay cash, you're avoiding any debt and any interest that comes with it. It's a straightforward transaction. You see something you like, you pay for it, and it's yours. No monthly payments, no hidden fees, nada. Plus, paying cash can sometimes give you the upper hand in negotiations. Sellers love cash because it's immediate and hassle-free, but there's a catch. Paying cash requires you to have the money up front. If you're buying something big, like a new TV or a fancy gadget, there can be quite a chunk of change all at once. So if it drains your savings or affects your budget, you might want to think twice. Now, let's chat about instalments. Instalments can be a lifesaver if you don't have the full amount available right away. They let you spread out the cost of an item over several months, making it easier to manage your finances. This can be especially helpful for big ticket items like furniture, electronics, or even a new phone. The trick with instalments is to pay attention to the interest rates. Some stores offer zero interest plans, which are fantastic as long as you make your payments on time. Miss a payment though, and you could be hit with hefty fees. Always read the fine print, folks. So, when should you pay cash and when should you opt for instalments? Here's a simple rule of thumb. If it's a small to mid-priced item and you can afford it without hurting your budget, go for cash. You'll avoid debt and keep things simple. For more expensive items, especially those you can't do without, instalments can be a good option. Just make sure you have a solid repayment plan and that the interest rates are reasonable. And how do you handle instalments like a pro? First, set a budget. Know exactly how much you can afford to pay each month without stretching yourself too thin. Second, automate your payments if possible. This way you won't miss a due date and incur extra charges. Lastly, keep track of your instalment plans. You don't want to juggle too many at once and lose control of your finances. So there you have it. The next time you're debating whether to pay cash or use instalments, remember these tips. Make the choice that best suits your financial situation and helps you stay on track. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more financial tips and tricks. See you next time.